Welcome back into another episode of NA Now. I'm Brandon Hofstra, joined here with Dan Wildfong, head coach of the Lone Star Brahmas. Dan, thanks for doing this. Uh, let's just jump right into it. Last season, a great season for you guys. Second place, South Division, but unfortunately bounced in the first round of the playoffs, but an instant classic with Shreveport, as it always is. Uh, what would you take away from the season like last year? Um, obviously, everyone wants to win their Robinson Cup, and we fell short, and we obviously try every year to – obtain that goal to win the Robinson Cup and obviously help our players move on. Mm -hmm. um, I thought we had a good year last year, but not good enough as far as our expectations. But, uh, you know, we're still chasing it down and trying to get better every year and every day. You've been in this league for a long time now. You've had a lot of, lot of success. What's your secret? Uh, we just... I don't know. I don't want to say my secret, but it's, <laughs> it's the grind every day. It's trying to make players better every day, trying to build relationships with them and trying to really help them move on. Um, mm -hmm. That's the, that's the greatness of our league. We got great coaches in our league that do a great job of helping players uh, with their development and helping them move on to division one and division three colleges. Yeah. Hundred percent. So it's all about you and your staff are great at doing that, advancing players to the next level. Uh, what were some of the holes that you were looking to fill, uh, either with tenders or the draft over the summer? Uh, well, we were losing both our goaltenders, which you know we had to replace them. We had really good goaltending every year. We seemed to have pretty good goaltending. Um, so that was a big need for us. We were losing some of our decor as well. We had a few guys returning, but we were losing some of our key guys and obviously state forwards too. We mm -hmm. seem to lose a lot every year and have to replace a lot. So um, we had a lot of holes to fill, but, you know, I'm excited about the group coming in and, um, you know, make making them better and trying to help us win the Robertson Cup. Speaking of that team from last season, some guys will be coming back. Who do you think are going to be some key contributors that you expect this season? Ivan Zabernia, he's going to be one of our top players up front. And I think, obviously, Ray Mirakami, um, you got guys like Ater that are going to be really good players. I, uh, Charlie Massick's coming back. We got we got some pieces. We just got to, you know, get some of the new guys playing uh, that are coming from midget playing junior hockey. And mm -hmm. uh, that's a little bit of an adjustment for some of them. So hopefully that adjustment's uh, not too long. and we can get guys going right away. Dan, you're no stranger to the Dirty South as it expands now to nine teams with the addition of Colorado. Um, you already have the defending champions now in the South Division, a number of teams that have just continued to rev up and become elite competition. But what is it going to take to stay near the top of this division this upcoming year? I think, you know, obviously getting off to a good start is important. Uh, you can't get behind, but you can't panic either. You got to stay consistent. Every day is a process of putting in the work and making sure there's highs and lows in the season. Everyone thinks their season's just going to go like this, and it's not. Every player thinks their season's going to go like that. It's not. You just can't have too many big lulls in your season, and you got to make sure that you're – uh, we call it steady ship, staying steady and, and the process and keep grinding it out. And it's a great league and it's not easy to win. And uh, you got to figure out your niche. Some years you can have like good, really good defensive teams and some years you got offensive teams. You got to figure out who you are as a group and you got to figure it out quick. And that's right. what we're trying to do. Yep, especially with the showcase right around the corner will be uh, kind of a feeler for everybody. But you've been to countless showcases. You've seen everything that one can possibly see at it. What sets this event apart from other events you've been to, in your opinion? I just – there's so many scouts there that, uh, you know, they get eyes on all our guys. And really, they start making lists. You know, they might not get even talked to there. Like everyone goes to the showcase expecting to get committed. And I think that's kind of the wrong mentality uh, for our guys going to the showcase. Yeah, you want to get committed. You want to talk to guys. But we've had multiple guys get committed like a month or two months after. They just got on that list and they got, uh, you know, recognized. But the, these D Division One guys want to see what you can do. They don't just mm – -hmm. it's a little bit, in my opinion, still summer hockey. and. Right because it is at the beginning. And once we get in our swing of the season, they want to see what real hockey is about. We really can do under heavy pressure. Can you make plays? Can you, 
Can you push pace? Can the D get up in the play? Can you run a power play? Are you going to find adversity and struggle? Are you just going to be hot one week and that's it? Like there's a lot of things uh, that I think is great about that, but then our guys can't lose focus on what their big picture is, is getting their commitment, but also helping win too. Are you a good yep. team? So is a big part of it. Obviously, Brahma Land, one last one for you. Brahma Land, they show up all the time. They travel well. You have a special seventh man, though, on the off the ice that uh, gets the fans going with Bango, the mascot. What yeah. sets him apart from all other mascots besides the nose ring? Yeah, he's, he's energetic. We always <laughs> talk about entertaining the crowd. He entertains the crowd. He gets uh, – and it's just that's what we want as a as a team is bring energy. We want to entertain our fans, and he brings that that energy. And I love uh, I love everything about his his uh, energy every day, every time he's he's at a game, and it actually gets us going a little bit too. I thought about doing the nose ring, but I'm gonna let leave him to that, and he can pull that one off, not me. Yeah, I'll leave that <laughs> to him too. Exactly. Dan, we appreciate your time. We'll see you here soon for the uh, showcase and good luck this upcoming season. You guys do an amazing job. Thanks for all you do. Appreciate it.